Welcome to our quick guide on metastatic bladder cancer. This quick guide to metastatic bladder cancer will briefly cover the following topics. What is metastatic bladder cancer? Treatment. Systemic therapy, including chemotherapy, immunotherapy, and targeted therapy. Common treatment side effects. Looking forward. And resources. If you would like more general information about bladder cancer, including non-muscle invasive bladder cancer, please watch our quick guide on bladder cancer. Stage 4, or metastatic bladder cancer, has spread through the bladder muscle to the lining of the walls of the abdomen or pelvis. It may also have spread to other distant parts of the body, such as the lung, liver, or bone. If the cancer has not spread past your pelvis, the goal of your treatment may be to increase your chance of a cure. If the cancer has spread past your pelvis, the goal of your treatment may be to relieve symptoms and make you feel better, shrink tumors, slow the growth or spread of the cancer, and extend life. I'm 16 months into the clinical trial. The main response for uh, me in the trial for nivolumab has been uh, that of stability, which is very welcome. It isn't uh, an entire uh, disappearance of my metastatic activity and nodules that uh, reside in both my ab uh, abdomen and lungs, but it is uh, a 16-month period where they haven't been growing. If you have metastatic bladder cancer, your treatment will be based on the type of cancer you have, results of biomarker tests, and whether the cancer has spread outside of the pelvis or not. There are three types of bladder cancer. The most common type of bladder cancer is called urothelial, or transitional cell cancer. This kind of cancer starts in the cells that line the bladder and urinary tract. Less common types of bladder cancer are squamous cell carcinoma and adenocarcinoma. Surgery for stage 4 bladder cancer. If your bladder cancer is stage 4 and has not spread beyond the pelvis, your doctor may recommend surgery. For more information on surgery to remove your bladder called radical cystectomy and urinary reconstruction, see our quick guide to bladder cancer. However, surgery is not an option for most people with stage 4 bladder cancer because the cancer cells have spread beyond the pelvis to distant organs like the lungs, liver, bones, or brain. The most common treatments given to people with stage 4 bladder cancer are systemic treatments. These include chemotherapy, immunotherapy, and targeted therapy. For people with stage 4 bladder cancer, chemotherapy is given to slow the growth or spread of the cancer, shrink tumors, relieve symptoms, and extend life. Most often, chemotherapy for bladder cancer is given as a combination of several drugs. Your doctor will decide what chemo drugs to use based on your current health, are your kidneys working well, can you handle more than one chemo drug at a time, whether you're getting radiation at the same time, how well you can handle side effects, and what type of bladder cancer you have. Most chemotherapies used for bladder cancer are given by IV, that is, through a vein. Common side effects of the chemotherapy given for muscle-invasive bladder cancer include nausea and vomiting, loss of appetite, hair loss, mouth sores, diarrhea or constipation, increased risk for infection, bleeding, and fatigue due to low blood counts, and neuropathy, which is numbness, tingling, or pain in the hands and feet. Report any side effects to your health care team. They often have ways to help reduce them and make you feel better. To learn more about coping with side effects, visit www.cancersupportcommunity.org slash cancer-treatment-side Dash effects. Checkpoint inhibitors are one type of immunotherapy. Checkpoint inhibitors stop certain cell proteins that fight off the immune system. They help the body's immune system to identify, attack, and kill cancer cells. 
There are a number of checkpoint inhibitors that can be used to treat bladder cancer. Checkpoint inhibitors are given by IV or through a vein. Your doctor will decide which immunotherapy is right for you based on the type of tumor you have, results of biomarker tests like PDL1, and which cancer treatments you have already received. Immunotherapies have different side effects than other cancer therapies. The most common are fatigue, low blood counts, and inflammation and itching of the body. If you are on immunotherapy, it is important to let your healthcare team know right away if you noticed any change in how you feel. And keep in mind, although there have been promising results, immunotherapy does not work for all bladder cancer patients. What's interesting about this is after my surgery, my oncologist told me that I was not eligible for chemo because my kidneys were not functioning properly. And so I asked him about immunotherapy. I asked him. And he said he'd never heard of it. Uh, this was the oncologist at the hospital. I went back to my hometown and I had to see the oncologist there because even though they couldn't give me chemo, they'd be there for any other care I might need related to the cancer that they knew was still in my body somewhere. And I talked to the doctor there and she was very nice. And uh, on my second meeting with her, I asked the doctor about the immunotherapy and it was really a a really good idea because she knew about it, but she ne it never occurred to her to mention it to me because for them it was a brand new thing. Well, I, of course, I had two options. I could be interested or I could go arrange my final affairs, you know. So naturally I was interested. To learn more about immunotherapy and its side effects, watch the Cancer Support Community's Quick Guides on Immunotherapy, an Overview, and Immunotherapy Side Effects, or visit www cancersupportcommunity.org slash immunotherapy. Targeted therapy may be an option if your cancer has not responded to other treatments or if you test positive for a specific biomarker like FGFR. Targeted therapies are treatments that seek out the cancer cells and kill them or that target a specific change in some cancers that help them grow and spread. Because of this, Targeted therapy causes less harm to normal cells than chemotherapy and radiation. Targeted therapy for muscle-invasive bladder cancer may be given as pills or by infusion through an IV. Common side effects include fatigue or tiredness, eating and digestion problems, rash or skin problems, eye problems. These can be serious, so tell your doctor. Neuropathy, hair loss, and nail changes. To learn more about targeted therapy, we encourage you to watch the Cancer Support Community's e-learning quick guide, Precision Medicine, Targeted Therapies, or visit www.cancersupportcommunity.org slash precision dash medicine. Your healthcare team may recommend a systemic treatment as a maintenance therapy. Maintenance therapy is given after initial treatment to prevent or delay the cancer from coming back or to slow down advancement or spreading of the cancer. Maintenance therapy may be given for a long time to lengthen the patient's life. While on maintenance therapy, your healthcare team watches for any changes in your cancer through scans and other tests. If your cancer grows or changes, you may need to stop maintenance therapy. Patients with stage four bladder cancer should also consider clinical trials as a treatment option. A bladder cancer clinical trial might be studying new drugs, new drug combinations, or new surgical or radiation techniques. They may also be looking at a new way to use an established therapy. The immunotherapy option was presented to me by the oncologist, uh, local oncologist. He had been working with Georgetown and some of the other universities and had heard of one. Had not been used on bladder cancer, but he was willing to see what he could do to make that work, and he was able to get me in. When she said she was going in a clinical trial, I was kind of lost. I didn't know what we were getting into. So I had to ask a couple questions and try to get explained to me what I can do to help, what she's going to go through, and still had to go through it asking questions because not every time was the same. 
Ask your healthcare team if there is a clinical trial that is right for you. You can learn more about clinical trials on the Cancer Support Community's website. The Bladder Cancer Advocacy Network website can help you search for clinical trials that may be right for you. You can also talk to your doctor about getting a survivorship care plan. This document keeps information about the treatments you have received and a plan for your follow-up tests and scans that you'll need in the future. You can find more information about survivorship care plans and how to complete one with your health care team on the websites of Journey Forward and the Cancer Support Community.